Unicorn friends. Welcome back to Unicorn Book Club. Today we're going to be reading Malala, My Story of Standing Up for Girls' Rights. This book is about all the challenges that Malala faces throughout her life so that she can stand up for girls' rights and girls' education. Thanks, Malala, for standing up for all of the girls in the world. Go, Malala! In fact, before we get to a reading clip, did you guys know that there is a Malala Fund? And it's supposed to help girls all around the world, which I think is pretty cool. Also, another fun fact is that Malala is the youngest person ever to get a Nobel Peace Prize. Um, yes, girl! Let's get reading. One Girl Among Many. Chapter 20. For my 16th birthday, I was given the most extraordinary gift. I was invited to speak at the United Nations in New York City. On that day, July 12th, 2013, which the UN had named Malala Day, 400 people would be in attendance. High-ranking officials from all over the world, as well as ordinary children like me. It would be so different from the fearful birthdays I had spent in Pakistan not long ago. My whole family traveled to New York. We saw Annie on Broadway, and we stayed in a hotel where they bring pizza to your room on a silver tray. I liked the hustle and bustle of New York compared with sleepy Birmingham, and I felt as if this city were my old friend after seeing it on Ugly Betty. I couldn't wait to tell Monaba, America is a very nice place, but New York was just as loud and crowded as other cities I've seen, with its honking horns and people rushing here and there. It didn't seem possible that I was going to address the United Nations. I dressed slowly that morning, putting on my my favorite pink shalwar kameez and one of word on the screen please scarves then i stood up and spoke not just to the audience but to every person around the world who could take courage from my words dear brothers and sisters do remember one thing malala day is not my day today is the day of every woman every boy and every girl who has raised their voice for their rights Thousands of people have been killed by the terrorists, and millions have been injured. I am just one of them. So here I stand, one girl among many. I speak not for myself, but for all girls and boys. I raise up my voice not so that I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. Those who have fought for their rights, their rights to live in peace, their right to be treated with dignity, the right, their right to, e to equality of opportunity, their right to be educated. On the 9th of October, 2012, the Taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead. They shot my friends, too. They thought that the bullets would silent us, silence us, but they failed. And then out of that silence came thousands of voices. The terrorists thought that they would change our aims and stop our ambitions, but nothing changed in my life except this. Weakness, fear, and hopelessness died. Strength, power, and courage was born. I am the same Malala. My, ambitious, my ambitions are the same. My hopes are the same. My dreams are the same. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. I heard the applause and took my seat all i could think of was that i had come a long way from being malala the toddler giving lessons to the empty chairs at the word on the screen school or malala the girl who gave speeches to the bathroom mirror <laughs> somehow by the grace of god i really was speaking to millions of people i had once asked god to make me taller i realized that god has answered my prayer making me as tall as the sky with a voice that can reach people everywhere with my height, I have been given a responsibility and a gift. The responsibility to make the world a more peaceful place, which I carry with me every moment of every day and the gift to be able to do so. Peace in every home, every street, every village, every country. This is my dream. Education for every boy and every girl in the world. I am Malala. My world has changed, but I have not. Before we get on to the review, which is going to be 5 out of 5 unicorns, what? I did not say it was 5 out of 5 unicorns. Oh my god, I just said it again. Oops. Uh, well, now you guys know that it's going to be 5 out of 5 unicorns. 
because this book is just amazing. It's a little bit sad, so you might get teary-eyed. I already have a little bit of tears in my eyes because I just reread it. Malala wrote it with Patricia McCormick. Wait, is she a spice? Conspiracy theory. That's the end of it, guys, and I'll see you when I flip to the next page. Bye! To those children all over the world who have no access to education, to those teachers who bravely continue teaching, and to anyone who has fought for their basic human rights and education.